Hello, it's Christine of Spring Creek Bathworks, and I am making leather fragrance oil soap. I made this in the past, and it's sold out. It's popular with the boys, and last time I made it with um, black activated charcoal, and it was really dark black, and this time I'm going to make it brown, and I have just put in bentonite clay. So I'm just going to blend this. Okay, now I'm going to add the fragrance oil. And for the brown color, I'm going to use mainly this um, Amla, which is, sometimes I hate these thick gloves, uh, Indian gooseberry powder. I don't know if you can see this. This is uh, all natural, and this is sold for women to dye their hair, Indian women dye their hair with Amla. I have no idea uh, how much to use, I'm just going to eyeball this. And then after this is the right color, then I'm going to add some black walnut powder for a little bit more brown and also to have a little bit of a scratchy effect. <laughs> I was making a lemon lemon soap and someone had posted online pictures of pink and they said it was amla. So I bought the amla and I put it in and it turned it dark brown, which I wasn't happy for dark brown lemon soap. So let's see if I can get it brown for leather. <laughs> some more. This is a four pound batch so I only put three little spoonfuls in it. Let's put three more. They're heaping. I'll put two heaping. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some of this black walnut hull powder. This smells so good. I'm following the directions for the strong level of fragrance. I didn't look back at my previous recipe because I know that the fragrance oil maker has updated their fragrance calculator to change some of the, the amounts. And last time I made it, this was so strong that based on what they said to use that it my whole house smelled like leather for the first week that it was curing. I really wanted this a dark brown. I mean, I guess this is a leather color, but let's put some more gooseberry in. I'll put a little more I think they had said one teaspoon per pound for this black walnut hull powder, and this is four pounds, so I only used just a little bit. I'll put a little, I'll put three. I don't want the powder to fly when I turn on the blender. <laughs>
I really wanted it a chestnut brown, but um, I think I'm going to leave it. I mean, it's getting pretty pudding-like already, just in case there's pockets. I'm going to, I'm hamstering it a little. I swear, I, don't, I used hardly any amla in the lemon, and it went to dark, dark brown, like dark chocolate brown. And then I put a whole bunch in here, and I get this. I'm not going to tell you what my grandmother would have said this was, this color was. But you know what? It is kind of a pretty brown, so I think I'm going to leave it at that. Because this doesn't have a design, I'm just going to use this little mold here. Birds are going crazy outside. The cardinals fighting. I don't know if you can hear them. Territory wars out there. Just want this all the way to the top. Have this little little four bar guy. Let's see if this will fill. No, don't tell me now. All right, well, I'm going to shut off the camera now. This isn't filling this, so I think I'm going to just pour this into round pucks. I This batch was intended for my other mold, and then I realized I didn't want to use that mold because I wasn't doing design. So, okay, thanks for watching me make leather fragrance cold process so for guys bye